Yeah, because the uh, the I don't have time for that is um, your problem is your problem. It's not my problem. I'm not interested. Great point. And that I mean, I couldn't you can say it better myself. <laughs> you know, and that's 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 the the what what the customer hears and what the what you said sometimes are totally different things. Hey, everybody! Welcome to the Make Trades Great Again podcast. Andy, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Awesome. How are you? Ah, I'm great, man. We've been off for a little bit, but uh, yeah. back at it, working on some things behind the scenes, trying to do some yeah. neat projects for the MTGA. But today, got to talk about something that's a little more uh, timely with what's going on in the kind of yeah. industry. Is that what we want to say? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been through this before. It's kind of that slowdown period, and I think what we're up against is a little bit bigger than just a seasonal change, personally. Yeah. But you and I and others have been talking about it. I, I hear from people all over the internet, from all over the world, really, but especially in our country, hearing a lot of the same message is, you know, hey, phones are kind of quiet. Things seem to be a little down. At first, I was chalking it up to it not having like a real normal winter uh, season right. here in Minnesota. I know it's been a little off for you guys too. Yeah, definitely. And that I, weather really affects, I know my business, especially when it comes to like bringing in new business, because they do a lot of repair, replacement work, right. a lot of uh, new calls, you know, new customers yeah. calling in, hey, I don't have heat, that kind of thing. You and I have talked about this. I mean, it's been, I think you've mentioned it several, you know, probably several months ago. Yeah. That- you know, it was, oh, you know, it's kind of weather related. And we didn't really experience that quite so much with the weather slowdown. Mm -hmm. But then when I look at it, look back at metrics from last year, I go, ah, no, we, we're, we're definitely down from what we did last year, you know? And, yep. and that cold weather related stuff was a hundred percent part of that. Yeah. It uh, definitely contributes. There's no doubt about it. It does. You can't, and, you can't deny that. You know, you mentioned the new customer side of it, and I guess what I always attribute that to is you get a new customer, you get all the customers new problems, um, whether they know about them or not. Yeah. You know, and and it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like opening the door. You know, you get the door open um, to a, a, another another person's needs. Yeah, you know, how have they not been taken care of by their last service provider? You know, oh, what, man. <laughs> and, and, and that kind of thing. And then, and then you go, well, let's, let's see what we can do. You know, maybe, maybe we can help them out. Yeah. And, you know, I, I you totally, I totally that, but. know what you mean. I mean, there's a whole lot of things you can do to kind of work through this, I guess, dial it back one little bit. What I wanted to bring yeah. up at the start was oftentimes like you brought up Perfect example. You look at your numbers. So we're using QuickBooks. We're using uh, software yeah. to schedule and, and track all this billing, everything like that on top of QuickBooks. And we can see and quickly pull numbers from this time last year. We can just look at yeah. year over year. I have the on my dashboard on my house call. Like basically it's like it. that's one of the main reports I look at. It's just keyed up there all the time saying – here's this month and it's comparing it to last month and here's this year compared to last sure. year. And, um, and it's just a, just a quick at a glance. So I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, and like you said, a yep. couple of months ago, I was chalking it up. Like it's weather. I can't do anything about it. It really sucks. Right. Um, sure. there's, I mean, as far as I can't do anything about the weather, not driving calls. Right. But then, what I wanted to bring up too, before we get into kind of some of the little things that we're doing to survive this, is <laughs> I brought up already the, you know, hearing from people all over the country, social media, Instagram, our friends, uh, just we talk to people outside of social media too that are all over the place and they're saying the same thing. Like it's right. Like there's nobody's, Everybody's past the, ah, oh, you know, we're not doing that bad. Now they're all like, no, it sucks. It's slow. <laughs> um, and, yeah. and, and it's, it, tides have turned. Yeah. I don't love that we had to get to that point. That's not the point of me right. saying it like that. I just love that people are just like, you know what? I'm not sugarcoating anymore. It, I thought right. it was slow because of the weather. Now it's just like the economy is, yeah. there's something going on. And anyway, sure. um, and the other thing too, I want to bring up because it kind of ties into what we're going to say next. 
uh, how to get through things. I'm driving around and apparently I'm just like hyper aware, but I have always kind of paid attention uh, as far as I know to billboards in my area when I'm driving from one place to another, like we've said so many times, we're like basically professional drivers that do plumbing on the side. Right. Because that's how, and nobody brings their stuff to us, right? <laughs> and so I pay, that's one of the things I've always paid attention to is like, oh, there's that dude's billboard. It's been there for six years running. Yep. Pretty awesome for him, right? And then I am seeing quite literally on every major thoroughfare where we've got these roadside billboards, whether they're digital or static. Yeah. I, I now know and am reminded about how many dozens of plumbing and HVAC companies are in my area because they're all right. advertising. The big ones, if they've got more than a couple trucks on the road, they yeah. are advertising on the side of the road. And that tells me straight up they are trying to increase their call volume because it's down. Like when you yeah. put 10 trucks on the road, you said it best the other day when we were talking, what happens then? Right. Yeah, I mean, you have to. It's a it's a constant struggle to try and find enough stuff to keep those trucks. Even on the road. even when it's busy, you're working hard busy. to get that yeah. phone to ring. When it yep. slows down, how much harder yep. do you got to work because you've you got gotta, that yep. much. You got a your basic needs are so much higher than right. like somebody like my company yep. or yours, right? Yeah. Well, you know, you figure when it's busy, you you've got a, a certain rate of loss, right? Yeah. Like. You know, if you get 10 calls, let's say, you know, eight of those are turn into a paying job. And it'd be great right? if you had 80%. That would be that would great. Be, yeah. That'd be phenomenal. That'd be a, be a, that'd be a good number. Every, you could shoot for every day. Right. You know, right now, um, I would say we're targeting even a higher number than that. We want to close every call that comes in. Well, everybody's trying. You, you know, and... But when, when you have, let's, let's just say you got 10 trucks on the road, you're getting a hundred calls a day, you know, maybe that, maybe that's a, a good number. That's, a, that's probably a great number. That's probably a phenomenal number, especially um, in this economy. Right. And when things slow down and you've got 10 trucks on the road and you get f- half that number, you get 50 calls, all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, if we were able to survive on 80 calls booked a day. Yeah versus now going to 50 we only got 50 calls and now we only book 30 calls yeah. <laughs> you know or whatever the 80 percent rate is all of a sudden it's like well wait a minute um what do we how we can how do we how do we keep jimmy busy yeah how do you how do you get that phone to ring <clears throat> you know. and it's basically that they're what we're seeing i mean we're talking they're doing a lot more than just buying billboards right oh yeah oh, um yeah. but like that's that outward like brand awareness like just yeah and some companies are really good at doing that all year round but it, sure I, i'm for the point of this topic i am pointing out that absolutely for sure right now in my area and i gotta imagine it's the same everywhere else or at least similar right. uh the ones that weren't doing it year round are doing it right now they're buying those yeah. billboards they're every time i see that flash of that digital billboard change I'm waiting yep. for it to be another home service company. Like I'm not even, yeah. I would not yeah. be surprised if that's the case. Put it that way. Yep. Yep. I, I, uh, we don't have the number of billboards that you do here. Yeah. Um, I mean, we do, but we, we have billboards. We just don't have as many, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I would, I would say that I have seen those, um, I've never, I've never entertained, I mean, I guess our business has never required it. Yep. I've never entertained the thought of having a billboard. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and, and I'm, and I'm not quite at that point yet, you know, where I'm like, oh, marketing wise, I need to do this. And I were, Cheryl and I were just having this conversation the other day and it's like every year. So, so you know, we've been in business since 2011, uh-huh. every single year. In March and April, we're slow. Yeah, absolutely. Clockwork. Yep. And and right now I'm trying to be like, okay, let's not overreact to a slowing of call volume. Let's let's be proactive in the sense that let's make sure that we've got, you know, we're taking care of every lead that we've got. Um, whereas when you're busy, you're like, ah, you know, I don't really think I want that remodel job. We're just gonna call and not do that. One. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> no, we've and, talked about that, and that's a perfect that's perfect exact example of how uh, 
you can adjust and do things just a slightly differently. Ultimately, yeah. it should be something we're paying attention to and doing all the time. But like right. you said, <laughs> kind of the qualification is is when you are overwhelmed with workload, when you have enough and you can't t- really take on more, a lot yeah. of these little details we want to talk about right now go away. Like, yeah. uh, I know we've talked about in the past, I've brought it up with you, uh, and, you know, just kind of talking about your guys out there on the job and how, what's been working for me, uh, and relying on, you know, I'm in somebody's basement. I'm there to look at their water heater. I've talked about it on the podcast before. This is pretty basic yeah. stuff when you do home service, but I'm looking around like, you know, they've got a 20 year old softener. Now you as a plumber yeah. know that that 20 year old softener, I don't care who you are. It's basically, it's, it's long past. It's, you know, it's expected lifespan. Right. Uh, and it's likely that the technology has improved since then. It's probably a, mm-hmm. they've probably got a timer unit, that kind of thing. Yeah. So that, that opportunity then is there for, for me, I'm there to do the, you know, look at their water heater, replace it, whatever. Hey, by the way, um, your softener is 20 years old. Here's a, yeah. you know, I'm going to give you an estimate on one. I'm here. I could, you know, I could get mm-hmm. one delivered or something like that. You know, that, that opportunity to take advantage, not of your customer, but of the fact that you're there. You're there. Look for that, the other business that's in front yeah. of you. Yeah. It's, it's important to look at that, you know, and, and when times are busy, it's easy to say, well, I've got, I've got 10 jobs on the schedule. Yeah. I need to get to the next job. Yeah. Right. And, oh, I'll call that person back. And then, and then you got to really look at that and go, well, how important is it that I'm, that I'm not that I'm already here, but the, the, that whole trust and we've already entered into business with the customer. Yeah. That's already happened. Look, it's so right? much harder for you to notice that. And then three days later, be like, how's the water heater? Oh, by the way, I noticed you had a, a softener need to be, you know, people are, they're over it. They've yeah, paid you, they're like done. they're out of money at this point. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, yeah, no. right. You right. know, that, they've already, you've already closed the door. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's so much harder to open that door. Yeah. And it costs yep. money and a time. And honestly, you know, most yep. people are going to be like, I, you know, no, dude, I'm busy. Now I'm off planning my right. next vacation. I'm not worried about yep. my softener. Yeah. If, if, and, and in that case, I mean, I, what I've, I guess we've had success with it is, you know, going in and being able to see that, like say, you see the softener, Hey, it's not, it's not working right. Or it's not working at all. Yeah. It's salt bridged. And yep. you know, that salt looks like it's 35 years old <laughs> and you know, we're on the eighth, you know, tech, you know, electric water heater element in <laughs> 10 years, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, well, softener probably doesn't work. Cause yeah. you know, we were so busy the last four times that we forgot to look at it. Right. Um, but if, but if you're, you know, if you're looking at that kind of thing, that's, that's that low hanging fruit, right? It is, but you're there, you know, that's you know, so you're important. there. You're there. And, and if you can get that customer to say, Hey, yeah, no, you're, you're right. Our, my dishes don't come clean. Right. You know, we've lived in this house for 10 years and we've had to replace the dishwasher twice, you know, things like that, that you go, well, you know, the softener probably would help, you know, what I really would, would probably help the lo- lifespan of that. It'd help your clothes be a little softer. You know, it'd help your water heaters last a little longer and pretty quick. They're like, yeah, you know, we should probably do that as a warning and, though. This is just, this goes out to anybody, <clears throat> especially guys. I'm telling you right now, we're the worst <laughs> at this. Don't do what I did and be like, and you know, and your hair wouldn't be orange like it is now if you're softener, you know, and then she'd be like, this? I have my <laughs> stylist do this. And then I just have to be like, mm. <laughs> I didn't call you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> when are you due? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Oh my God. Mm. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is your water softener. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> no, but you know, like I'm, I, it's so refreshing to hear you talk about this. Like um, that, you guys are doing it. You're paying closer attention to it because right. this is something that I've been trying to do. Um, not just because it slowed down; it started slowing down a while. But yeah. it's just something I knew it, that it I could sense. do better at. Um, yeah. I just I look at my books as often as anybody else, I think. And I do pay attention to the little things. And it's like, I I've analyzed like, what's my average job. I look at that often. And then I think like, how do you, how do you increase that average ticket? Right? Like, how do you really do that? And it's, we've talked about in the past about that swarmy sales kind of technique and trying to avoid that. But it's, 
<clears throat> it's pretty clear what we're talking about is a way to increase, right? And that's why we're yeah. thinking about it. We're there. It's an opportunity to do more work for the same customer, which is always good. And then if you start looking right. at it from different perspectives, the ownership, and you're looking at your reports and things like that, like now you can start yeah. increasing that kind of average ticket or average job size. Yeah. Um, because whether you're, you know, like I'm talking to the guys that are like the guys and gals out there doing it, like one, one, two man truck shops, yeah. right? It's really hard to increase that mm-hmm. that average job because you are up to, you know, you can only take on so much work in a day. Yeah. So if you're not looking at what could be done while you're just there to right. fix that one thing, then you're always going to just have that one size, that 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 job is what it is. Yeah. It's never going to get bigger. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. I, I think it's important. And, and kind of the stance that we've taken on it is because we do still generally have full days scheduled, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if, if we go to Mrs. Jones house and we've got a three hour block scheduled there, the other five hours of the day are basically accounted for. And so if we're at Mrs. Jones house and we're changing a toilet and she goes, you know, I really like that toilet. Um, you know, do you think you, do you think we could update the shower and the, maybe the sink faucet or the lab faucet, you know, absolutely. Yep. Mrs. Jones, we'd love to, you know, here's, here's, here's the next step, you know, just, just reaffirm that. And, and don't, I mean, don't ever say, oh, I don't have time for that. Yeah. Right. Yep. And we've all you know, done it. Well, I'm, we've all done yeah, it. And that's yeah. why we're talking about it today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the uh, the I don't have time for that is um, your problem is your problem. It's not my problem. I'm not interested. Great point. And that I mean, I couldn't you can say you, it better myself. <laughs> you know, and that's 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 the the what what the customer hears and what the what you said sometimes are totally different things. Yeah, but it's it it I think it's the most. It's very important to be able to say, you know, yes, we yeah, we'd love to do that for you. Um, I can't do it today. I already, I'm already, I'm already booked for today. However, I'm going to make notes. I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to create another job for you and let's get it on the schedule. Yeah. That that's a big thing. So you and I were talking as we do pretty much every day, just off air. Yeah. And, uh, the other day we were talking about, let's get it on the schedule. How important right. that is for like, especially for you, your guys, but then I have to, I can talk about all I want on the podcast, but I have to do it too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's, instead of saying, uh, you know, let me go back and get a price and I'll send it to you. I, I can tell you right. what, I, I'll tell you how I feel about that. <laughs> I, we're not these business coaches. These guys are going to hard sell and tell you how, how to turn your one man show into a, a empire. But if you, if you don't do take advantage of the very simple tools that allow you to do this and yep. give them the price then and there. If you aren't doing yep. that, then you need to go yeah. back and listen to all the episodes I, of the MTGA podcast. Right. <laughs> you do need to find a business coach. No, that is basics. Like I have figured out like a couple of years ago, like so much easier to sell and make people happy. If I can just give them the price, like right now. Yeah. Don't leave. I, Don't leave I, and get and, back to them. Unless that's the only way to do it, right? I'm. I, it's a, it's a work in progress for me because I'm and I'm saying I'm saying exactly what I don't do, <laughs> um, to to do a large what amount, saying, you know. As I do, right? And you know, we're work. I'm working towards that. You know, building that menu driven um, price structure. You know that that allows you to basically pick the options. Here's the price. Here's the. It's all done. All the paperwork's done. You know. So it's some back back end work. Yeah. And. Ultimately, what part of what drove is, has driven me this direction is we were on vacation here not long ago, and I was looking at additional, you know, I was looking at some parts for something. I don't even remember what it, exactly it was, shower doors or something like that. Yep. And I'm looking at this website, and I'm like, I really like these shower doors. You know, these are these are nice. They're custom. You're they're direct from the manufacturer. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, all right, cool. How much? Uh, they don't have pricing on their website. Oh, it's so call us for a quote. Call us for a quote. Call us for a quote. And everybody that's ever clicked and filled out that call us for a quote thing goes, uh, is is this is this company gonna call me like seven hundred times yep. and ask why I haven't bought my shower door yet? Yeah. You know, and and, and then you then you're reluctant and you go, no, nah, I'm not gonna do it. 
Next. Well, think about it. Yeah, and think about that's a great example. Think about it this way: you're on Amazon, you're on your phone, and yeah. can you imagine if, if in fact, no, if there's no price on it? <laughs> yeah, click here for a quote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or put it all in your cart, and then we'll show you. We'll show you the price. Yeah. We can't, we can't, we can't broadcast this price for our competitors to see until you put it in our car, in your cart. You ever, right. you've seen that? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I'm you like, get yeah, in there and next, you're like, next wait, website. You're, you're like. Where's the where's the scary guy lurking at right. in this whole transaction? Yeah, what's like, next? Something ask me for my email so I can get a price? No, right? No, yeah, no. Yeah, and send me your send me your phone number so that we can contact you about special deals. Yeah, a couple things real quick, not to beat this uh, dead <laughs> right. horse. Uh, being able to being prepared and able to give a customer a price on something that's pro, uh, we're talking about basic stuff. We're not talking about like repiping a building or something like that, right? We're right. talking about look, your customer wants a furnace. You should be able to tell the customer exactly how much the furnace is before you leave. On, yeah. Honest to God, I strongly believe that. There's really no reason you yeah. can't. Uh, I mean, the the reasons are in your court at that point if you can't. Right. Um, the what your customer is going to perceive if you're not able to do something that you say you can do like you can do the work. Why can't you sell the work? Yep. Right. If you, yep. if your customer sees that they're going to go, well, like I, is this person really legit? Like how long they've been doing this? <laughs> right. or, should I hire this right. person or the last guy who gave me a price right then and there? Yeah. Um, so f- first of all, first and foremost, it's kind of an impression thing. Like you're not selling yourself yeah. at that point. You're just telling them you're not interested or you're not prepared. Um, Second, people are like, I don't have data on this. <laughs> I can tell you what, I sell way more jobs when I go, here's the cost. Here's the cost. Yeah. Up front. Not, this is gonna right. this is gonna cover it. If it comes in less, well, you know, I don't ever look at it that way. But like, look, right. even if I had a ballpark some something, I know where I gotta be. If I had to yeah. estimate even a little bit on top of the numbers I'm prepared with, like if I expect like oh, yeah. you know, copper's up right now, you know, maybe I have to, you know. I can still take care of it on site. And yeah. it's so much easier to help your customer yeah. because they want to be helped. <laughs> they asked you there right. for a reason. And if right. you can give them that upfront, it's so much better. And so in times like this, tying it back into what we started talking about, that is for me, that's a huge thing. Like that changes the conversation. There's right. other challenges. Lately, it seems like I'm talking a lot more about price of things. Mm -hmm. Um, And I bring that up because I want to make a, you and I talked about this yesterday when we were on the phone. I'm not changing my prices. Um, I had two cancellations recently. One of them was uh, somebody could get there faster. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, I can't. You can't change that. I can't. Well, I mean, I, yeah. You can, but. I mean, sometimes you just can't. Right. Um. I was already somewhere else and I can't be in two places at one time. Right. Um, and I'm not going to lie to my customers and lead them on and be like, yeah, we'll be there tomorrow when I know I can't, you know what I mean? Like that's right. just not how I operate. Um, and then the other one was from what I can tell was a cancellation because it just, it, they, it was more expensive than they thought. Yeah. And I don't know what they did. I, you know, I, it sucks. I've never really had anybody cancel on me before. I mean, yeah. over the years, I know it's happened. But, like, these two were within, like, a, five days of each other. So it was, like, <laughs> the second one was, like, what is going on? It kind of went over right. a little in my head. You know what I mean? I think that's the – I mean, you know, the recap of it is just just look at that. Look at those – the little opportunities that don't cost you any money. Yeah. You're um, there. Because you're already there. Um, you know, certainly if the, if the marketing budget says, Hey, we're going to get a billboard, we're going to, you know, re-graphic the vans, or we're going to do this ad campaign. Right. Great. Go for it. Go for it. But if you, if you're at that point where you're like, ah, just gotta, I'm already spending a pile on my marketing and how, how do we just get better at what we're doing? Well, just get better at what you're doing. Yeah. You know, the, 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 I think the key takeaway from in, in the conversation you and I had the other day. And, and from what we're talking about here today is already, you know, already take advantage of that customer. Not don't, that's not the right word. Take advantage, take of, the advantage of the situation yep. that you're already in the customer's home. Yep. Don't take advantage of the customer. Yeah. Um, don't walk away counterintuitive. from that. You're there. Yeah. 
Yep. The, the secondary part of that is get better at customer service. Just, just continually get better at being the best service provider possible. And I say that because that customer who, if, if you're a really good service provider and the customer's really happy with the services you provide, they will guaranteed tell their friends. Yeah. And their friends now go, oh, well, I maybe I should call them to have, I, you know, I need a new kitchen faucet or my furnace isn't working right or, you know, I hate my thermostat. Yep. Maybe maybe I should get a new thermostat, right? That's a that's the easiest gravy marketing you can do. Yeah. You know, is have have customers call me, call you and be like, oh, Mrs. Jones used you to, you know, do this, that, and the other. And, you know, she said you guys were great. So I'd like you to come change my thermostat. Right. That, that cost you basically nothing. I know. You, I know. you just have to say, oh, man, that's awesome. And then I'd you're there to. changing the thermostat and you're looking around. Is there anything else I can look at for you? Do you have any right. concerns? Is there, yeah. is everything working the way you want it to? I'm here. Mm-hmm. That's all. I'm not going to yeah. charge you any more than what, you know. Right. How's your utility bills? Yeah. You know, so does everything seem like it's going right? Right. Well, it is. Perfect. Have a great Perfect. day. Thank you for the business. We we'll very much appreciate yep. it. Yep. I got to go buy billboards. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. You bet. Have a good one.